Oh my goodness. Are you guys too far? Hey, what's up you guys? Yes, it is I, Danica Carabeo, and this is Lazy Cooking with Danica. Yay! Put a applaud trap on that, Dan. Right now, I'm cleaning the counter because we finna make some fettuccine from scratch. Now you might be like, Lazy cooking with Danica? What makes you say that? Well, uh, I may look somewhat presentable from the waist up, but I'm not wearing pants. And I didn't put my contacts in. I have absolutely nothing on my face except for these glasses. So yeah. It's pretty lazy if you ask me. I'm feeling kind of lazy. But you know what? Even if you're feeling lazy, you still gotta clean because you have to have a clean counter or else I'm gonna freaking see you. Okay, this is good. Now I have to rinse it. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. You're balanced on my luggage on a stool. So if you guys fall off at any time during this filming session, you guys know I don't have a tripod. What do you think I'm gonna do? Bring my tripod here? Actually, there is a tripod here. I just don't want to like take it because I don't want to mess with anything. Also, this isn't working. There's a lot of walking around going on. And now I'm not fond of it. Right now, I'm just like getting all the suds off and then I'm going to come back in with that Kapow. wet towel with just water so I can rinse it. But right now, it's a little too wet for my liking. <sighs> I haven't heard that one before. 24K. Bruno Mars, can you get out of my mind? So much walking around. Wow, we haven't even started the cooking yet and um I'm already tired. <laughs> Clean or whatever. This is my sister's pumpkin spice iced coffee. Now I'm finishing it. Even though I'm scared of coffee, I just don't want to be dependent on it. I'm so tired and I haven't started cooking. I guess it's not really cooking because we're just making pasta. Like, I'm not gonna be cooking the pasta, but we're gonna make mm. the pasta. And we're done. On to the actual cooking part. Let me wash my hands first, because if you don't wash your hands... 24 carat magic in the air. Swing! 24 carat. 24 carat magic. So... For this, oh, for this pasta making thing that we're doing, pulls up chair. Welcome to my office. Step, step. Um, we, we're gonna need some semolina flour. Any semolina flour will do. Actually, it's better if you get your semolina flour from like the freaking bins in the stores, but if you don't have bins filled with stuff, like, all types of flowers that you can think of and dream of then just buy this packet of semolina flour but i suggest the bins because it's cheaper you might be like why does she have a knife well i don't know where the scissors are so we finna do this okay we did it i'm a monster also you need water clean counters clean hands that's the magic of healthy living Just put semolina flour onto your uh, thing, your counter. This looks like enough, I think. Make a well. George Orwell, Animal Farm by George Orwell. Wait, did George Orwell write Animal Farm? This might not be enough semolina, because this is for dinner. I'm home alone. What's out of more? Tell me what you're trying to do. 24 karat magic in the air. Make a well, make a well. Out of your semolina flour. And then put water in the middle. I've made pasta like 
twice more before right now and from my experience the flour is just gonna absorb the water before you can even mix it in so oh well you see i got water inside of the well and outside of the well because you know sometimes you just need that variation with your cooking if you want to like you gotta think outside the well sometimes i suck at cooking and this well was a flop <sighs> get in here water i literally suck at cooking like it's not a, a joke. I really suck at cooking. <laughs> Hacking heck, the flour is stuck to me. Please get off. Okay, now you just knead it in. So when I was a fourth grader, story time with Danica. When I was a fourth grader, I wanted to be a chef. So I like, um, you know, I just wash a bunch of food network. Or, but I watch Rad to eat every single day for a whole summer to the point where I can freaking quote the movie. <sighs> I wanted to be a cook. I just thought cooking was super cool. Uh, so I tried to cook myself. No, I, I didn't try to cook myself. I tried to cook by myself. It didn't go well. I found out eventually through many years of trying to cook that I actually am not fit to be a cook. And I will probably never be a cook because I just suck so much. I don't have taste buds and my cooking just never tastes good. This is different. It's just making dough pretty much and then cutting up dough. I'm making fettuccine. Did I already say that? I gave up on my cooking dream a long time ago because I know I can't cook. Actually, no. I'm not that bad. Like, I can cook. I have the ability to cook. But will it taste good? No. Also, sometimes I tend to undercook my stuff because I get so paranoid of, like, burning things and then i'm just like this is done this is done even though it's like barely golden brown you know with pasta you just have to have patience patience with the pasta story time you might be like oh danica how'd you learn how to make pasta to be honest i'm not that good at making pasta but i can make pasta and i have made pasta now back to the question how did I learn how to make pasta? Well, you see here. Y'all know I went to Rhode Island. Weeks before I was leaving, I decided to learn how to make pasta because Noah Pelter loves pasta. And that's the story of how I learned how to make pasta. I wanted to make it for him. And now I know how to make pasta, kind of. Now, while you're making your pasta, you might find it a little bit too dry. <laughs> Just add it little by little. You don't want to, like, add a bunch of water and then you have soupy pasta. And then your pasta's not going to work. I'm standing on the stool. What the heck? I can see the neighbor's cat from the window. <laughs> I'm going to sit down now. Oh! And while I was making pasta, um, I overworked myself like super hard to the point where like uh, my muscles like were hurting so much because I work hard when I want to do whatever it is that I'm doing. Now when it comes to things that I don't want to do, I'm gone. Gone with the wind. Patience, young grasshopper. 24 carat, 24 carat matter. Splash, splash, splash. This is one of my favorite shirts because it's super big and it's the biggest shirt I own. The doggos have joined. Hi, Lila. This looks like grated Parmesan. Parmesan. If you're looking for an exact measurement of the things that I added into this thing, <clears throat> there are no measurements. It's just semolina and water, and you just add as much semolina as you want and as much water as you see fit. And you can see right now we're getting to the dough stage. I think this is done kneading for now. And it is time to let it rest. So all the gluten stuff can all work and your dough will become more gluey. Gluey for gluten. Gluten stands for gluey. Now let me just get some plastic wrap and then wrap this baby up. Then we wrap the little baby up like a present and now we wait for this boy to glutenize for like let's say 40 minutes. Now I realize that this is lazy cooking with Danica, but we're actually doing a lot. <laughs> but like, I'm too lazy to open up my own package of freaking pre-made pasta, so I'm making my own pasta. Now that you're waiting for your pasta, just like clean up, put things away, get things out that you need for the next stage, which is a rolling pin. Maybe some flour? 
Yeah, this isn't my house, so I'm gonna have to find a flower. Ah, do you wanna see it? It's cute, it's beautiful, it's a doe. It's a doe thing. To tell if your dough is good, you press on it and then it should try to rise back. I don't know if you guys can see that. She bounced back or whatever. Just need it a little more. Okay, so you need a knife. You need a thing to roll it out with. And you need some flour. Flour your surface. And flour your, what's this called, rolling pin. Confession time, I haven't really rolled out any pasta, like literally ever. Because the way I make pasta, I make it so that I don't have to roll it out. Because I'm not a big fan of rolling things out. Now, I don't know if I should cut this in half first, or if I should just go for it. I guess we're just going to go for it. Just roll out your dough. I'm not sure how to do this. We'll figure it out. isn't perfect. I accidentally made a couple holes. I had to patch up. But you know what? This is the best that I can do. I guess now it's time to cut it up. I'm gonna cut this in half. So I'm gonna flour both sides. Fold it in half and fold it in another half. I'm gonna fold it one more time. Okay. Again, I've never made fettuccine before. So this is my first attempt at making it. This would be better if you had a bench scraper, but I don't have that. You know what, this needs to have more flour in it. Okay, so in half, in another half. I'll cut it this way. I think we're making great progress here. Honestly, the best way to dry these out is to hang them on a hanger or have like a rack where you can hang them on, but you know, sometimes you just don't have one or the other. So much for a lazy cooking with Danica, am I right? Because you know, you have to be so lazy in order to make your own pasta and do all this meticulous work. <laughs> I'm not actually lazy, I just have depression. <laughs> this would be so much easier if I had like a pasta machine, but again, I don't have a pasta machine. Okay, so I cut them all up, as you can see, and this is the final result. So pretty much you just let this dry, and the, well, I mean, you don't have to let it dry, you could just cook it right away. But if you want to store it, you can let it dry, and then you can cook it literally whenever you want. Since this recipe is only like semolina and water, I don't think it should go bad that quickly. And if you want, you could also add salt to the recipe, but the thing is like... You don't really need to do that because when you boil the pasta, I mean, you're probably going to salt the water and then the pasta is going to absorb the salt water anyways. So I just make it super duper basic so that you could just add whatever you want. Oh my goodness, I look super tired and sweaty, but I just came to say like... I don't know, comment anything you want. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe, that's it.
Thanks for watching.